can do the snap. You can snap. Check it out. Welcome back to the new channel. My name is Frank and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. But before we dive into this, please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of the review videos I have coming out. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. This is the newest release from Hasbro's Marvel Legends series. It's the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. It's what he does the final snap in, spoiler alert, but I think everybody's seen it by now. And in this video, I wanna cover what it is, the features it has, and some of the things I really didn't like about it. You can snag this thing for about $100, it seems, on Amazon and other places. Um, it seems like a pretty good deal, especially for something in the Marvel Legends series. The packaging's pretty nice, and it gives you a very clear um, idea of what it is. It's a whole wearable gauntlet that you can pull the Infinity Stones out of. It has lights and it has sounds. It's a really cool gimmick and I was really excited to get it. One jarring thing about it right out of the packaging though is all of the pictures and images and even the imaging on the box makes it look super metallic and nice. But once you actually open it and get it into your hand, it really does look a lot cheaper than the images make it out to be. Now before we dive any farther, Shush. Now, before we dive any farther into this review, I want to point out my one big, huge issue with this gauntlet. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me. I can't actually get my hand all the way up in the gauntlet to properly do the snap pose. For anybody wondering, my forearm at its like relaxed state measures about 12 inches around. Now, if I had a smaller arm or skinnier arm, that might work, but who was testing this thing? Hey guys, quick little editing break. While my wife was going through this footage, she asked me, well, maybe it doesn't fit you because it's made for children. Well, the 14 and up label on the box would indicate otherwise. That's teenagers and above, so, uh, it's not made for a four-year-old. Now, like I said before, my forearm's about 13 inches around and we measured my wife's arm and it's about eight and a half, pretty small, and her arm still didn't fit in this. So I guess before you buy it, uh, I don't know, stop using your arms and lose all muscle density. Back to the video. But if you can somehow overlook that and your arm does fit in it, you'll be met with a pretty neat gauntlet. You can actually go and remove each Infinity Stone. They're all activated by magnets and each have individual lights. Hasbro actually took the time to model each stone individually and they all have specific little shapes on the back of them so you can't put them into the wrong slots. And it is pretty neat as you drop each one in, you get a pretty distinct sound each time. And whenever you go and put the last one in there, it'll start charging the gauntlet up. And then you can press each stone to make different sounds and effects. And again, if you can actually get your hand inside of the thing and you can do the snap, you can do the snap, you can do the snap, you can snap. Yay. All right, guys, I'm not gonna like mess around with you. I'm actually really disappointed in this thing. Um, it's a hundred dollar display piece, but I don't think this deserves the title of the Marvel Legends series. If you've had any of the Legends props up until now, the shields, the helmets, um, Stormbreaker or Mjolnir, you know how much more robust and nice feeling these are. This Captain America shield is about the same price as this, and I'd much rather this nice full-size shield that feels substantial to hold than unfortunately a pretty cheaply made gauntlet. Aside from that, when you look at this thing, I mean, there's overspray, there's clear poor tape lines all over it, and a few people online have even already had problems of the rubber fingers ripping and breaking after just a few uses. I'm not really sure where the, um, the product quality came from this one or why it slipped through the cracks, but I don't know, $100 would just seem a little bit much for this. Maybe if it was 50 or 60 bucks, it'd be a little less um, critical of some of the flaws, but for $100, not mad. I'm just disappointed. This right here is a $5 uh, in Stark Tech gauntlet that I got off of AliExpress that fits me. I can open and close my hands, and believe it or not, even this one lights up. Now, it doesn't have the sounds and effects as this, but if I was to put these next to each other, there's literally a $95 difference between these two, and uh, it really doesn't show. 
Sorry. And please don't take it the wrong way. I am trying to think about this pragmatically. I know I have very well gone and made my own Infinity Gauntlet, and while it doesn't have all the features and sounds that this one does, I'm trying to look at it from a consumer standpoint, not as a standpoint of someone who would probably just rather make it. And I don't know who needs to be contacted about this, but can, can Marvel Legends or Hasbro please put on and off switches on their like products? Stormbreaker was the same way, where once you put the batteries in, they're in, and that's it. You can't turn it off unless it goes into its sleep mode. Just a little on off switch. I don't think it would be that hard to do. Um, yeah, why not? If any of you have gone and purchased this, please let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Did it fit you properly? Can you actually snap? Have you had any issues with it? Or did you get what you expected for $100? I'd really love to know. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the videos I have coming out on the new channel. And don't forget to check out my main channel, Frankly Built, so you stay up to date on all my build videos and 3D printing and cosplay goodness.